Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here looking at the Hagen Gourmet Treats. These are two new ones that I have. This one's strawberry, and this one is the marigold. And they're, these ones are biscuits, and I think this one is kind of like a biscuit too. So I'll read the ingredients of this one to you. I'll try to get it to focus so you can read it also if you want. Focus. So this one is wheat and ground wheat, oat, dried egg product, rolled oats, chopped corn, yellow millet, calcium carbonate, cornstarch, dried strawberries, calcium propop propionate, preservative, and then honey, artificial colors, and this one has the ground wheat, dried egg again, marigold, dried whey product, soy oil, soy oil, sodium, phosphate, sodium permanent. So these are biscuits. Um, they say they're for good, they're good for all small animals, but because of the egg product, I will not be giving these to my guinea pigs. I've already researched this just to make sure I was right, but guinea pigs should not be getting egg product. Your hamsters definitely can. So I'll be giving, I'm going to break one of these in half and give them to my hamster. Uh, this loose marigold, I'm probably going to give it to the guinea pigs. If you can hear, it's the guinea pigs in the background knowing that they're about to get a treat. So to get them to be quiet, I've got the beet treats out ready for them. There you go. you got to take it. You have to take it in your mouth. There you go. There you go. Daisy. Take it. All right. Be silly little gooses with it. Hey, Abby, that's yours. One of these is yours. One of these are yours. So those are the beet treats. And they also have the apple treats. They are definitely good for your guinea pigs, and they like them. I think they actually prefer the apple taste better, but giving them the beet on this one this time. So I'm going to be opening this up and breaking it in half. OK, so I've broken up one of the pieces. And this is the baggie, so I can put the rest of this in. Even the strawberry one for now. It's so big. It even comes with a plastic thing that you can, I guess, attach to a cage. So that's awfully big. So I'm gonna be breaking this up. So I'm gonna give Bandit a piece now. Oh, there's one of his wood shoes. They smell really good. I smelled the biscuit myself, and it was actually really, really it smells good. I'm he's not taking it from me, he's just chewing on it. You want it? I'm going to give him this little piece too, because I think it fell off that one. There you go. So yeah, there are some of these treats that don't have the egg product in it. Uh, just a couple, actually, for these ones. But the balls have like the beet treats and the apple treats, they don't have anything like that in them. It's more of the baked stuff. Like anything that says biscuit obviously usually has egg in it. And the reason why, I don't know about rabbits. Rabbits might be able to have egg. I really don't know anything about rabbits. But guinea pigs, the reason why they can't have egg is because in the wild they would not come near any other animal products. And eggs come from an animal. You know, I always joke to Pat when he's like, I'm going to give the guinea pigs like a cracker. And I'm like, no, you know. And he's usually joking. But I'm like, no, they can't have that. They're little cows. And that's what I refer to my guinea pigs as, little cows. Just because they kind of are. You know what I mean? They graze on their hay all day. Uh, they like they, they need vegetables in their diet. They do have pellets, but that's more of a a vitamin supplement. And they really shouldn't be eating another products from another animal. They're like little vegans too, if you think about it person that's a vegan doesn't eat anything that comes from an animal. They don't eat eggs, they don't drink drink milk, nothing. So you can think of that that way. Your guinea pig is a vegan, they shouldn't have any egg product. Um, I'm sure if you gave it to them very sparingly, it probably would not hurt their, you know, system or their tract or anything like that. But I'm just playing it safe. I'm actually going to move this because I woke him up again. 
So I'll leave that there. This is where his house is. Here. Put that there. <laughs> he likes it. And then we will come back to the piggies still eating their beet treats. So now there's going to be a bunch of food bits left in the cage that I can vacuum up. Ooh, look at that mess. You gotta finish that all up. You gotta finish that all up, Daisy. You gotta eat it all. See, the apple treats, when I give them the apple ones, they didn't have a mess like this. They ate it all. So that's why I think that they prefer the taste of the apple. But that's okay. So if you have any questions or anything like that, go ahead and ask. I will be putting the link to the Hagen website below. If you want to check out their treats. And thanks for watching. Bye.